Today we're going to be talking about the power of the hashtag. Now, many people have heard about hashtags, but they don't know how to use them to their advantage. And has hashtags in social media platforms are really powerful. Let's start by asking the question of when did hashtags originate in social media? Well, you guessed it, hashtags were actually used in Twitter where they put a pound sign in front of words and that this was used to create groups. Twitter started using a hyperlinking of all the hashtags in tweets. So what that meant is that if you put in a tweet about, say, for example, flowers, then they linked all the words flowers together wherever they were being hashtagged. And of course, major social platforms sw followed sweet suit, except for LinkedIn. So LinkedIn does not use hashtags. Pinterest, who did use hashtags, no longer encourages hashtags. And there's not a need to use hashtags in Pinterest at this moment in time. The platforms where hashtags work best are Twitter, Instagram, Instagram absolutely phenomenal for hashtags and has probably overtaken Twitter in that in in its own game. Google Plus I would say to you the best in terms of hashtags because Google Plus hashtags work slightly differently in the sense that they don't only pick up the hyperlinking of the word but they pick up a whole lot of words and phrases using that particular word that's been hashtagged. And of course, Facebook. Facebook is probably the least used of the platforms for hashtags. But if you know how hashtags work and you use it well in Facebook, it could work to your advantage. So why then are hashtags important? Well, here we go. When you click on a hashtag, it'll take you to a public post that has the same hashtag. So obviously if a post is private, um, it won't take you to that post, but if it's public, it will. And that goes for Google um, and Facebook. Twitter, obviously everything is public on there. This is true for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Google Plus have gone one step further and link not only to the actual word hashtag, but to similar words and phrases. Your content is exposed to an audience that may never have had the opportunity to see your information. And it's easier to search for content using a hashtag. So how many hashtags are appropriate? And many people have asked this question because if you see people that get into the habit of hashtagging, many times they really over hashtag and it can be detrimental to your post as opposed to being a, a, an advantage. So we found that in Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, two hashtags work really well. In fact, we've seen a decline in post viewing with three or more hashtags. So for those platforms, choose two hashtags that work really well. In Instagram, we found that many hashtags work well and we have seen up to five work fine for the post. So what do you actually hashtag? Choose one or two words or phrases that are going to drive traffic to your post. So for example, if you are um, em doing embroidery, choose the hashtag embroidery and hashtag the word embroidery and you'll see that is, uh, you'll see posts with anything to do with embroidery coming up. The same with any unusual things like bedwetting or um, how to how to get rid of acne which is a phrase so you could hashtag the word, word acne or the phrase how to get rid of ash acne use one or two of these words consistently so you know what your product is and you know what you sell take that product that you use and use those two word, two hashtags consistently how do you hashtag well you simply place a pound sign in front of the word with no spaces, for example, dogs. If you want to hashtag a phrase, put the words together, for example, hashtag I love dogs. You can make a phrase look more respectable by adding an underscore between the words, but we found that the search brings up different results, especially in Twitter. This method works great in Instagram. 
For example, I underscore love underscore dogs. Here is a post that I've made with the words, uh, the power of hashtag, hashtag I love dogs, how about you? And you'll see I've hashtagged I underscore love underscore dogs. Now, if you click on the I love dogs or I underscore love dogs, these are the results that you're going to get. If you're clicking on I love dogs, you'll see that as you can scroll down for as long as you want to, there are so many posts about I love dogs. Now, obviously, the popularity of the post will, de will, will depend on the hashtag that's been used. So... I love dogs. If you scroll, 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 anybody that has hashtagged that, it will come up. Here's one where I said I love dogs and you can see there's the I underscore love dogs and there's the I underscore love dogs. So straight away you can see that there's a heap of hashtags um, with information in them. This is Twitter. Using the I love dogs, you can see here that all the tweets to do with I love dogs comes up and you can have a look and, and see what they're like. And the I underscore underscore love dogs. Um, and you can see when I said to you that the search results are slightly different. Here's hashtagging in Google Plus. So I love And if I click on I love dogs, this is what Google Plus will bring up for me. So it'll bring up I love dogs and it'll give you a whole lot of hashtags that could possibly go with that. And it will pick up any posts with the words I love dogs in it. Again, hundreds of posts, you can go and find them. So how does this help you? Well, here are six key reasons why you should be doing hashtags. First of all, it gives you access to other resources. Now, what I mean by that is if, you, if you're putting the I love dogs in and you go through the posts wherever they are, you're going to find posts that have links to newspaper articles, magazines, other websites. So it really gives you um, links to other resources. It keeps you up to date in your field. You know, a lot of us have ideas and we think about our business and we go ahead and do it but we don't always keep up to date in the field that we're in and we think that we might be ahead by um, following hashtags you'll be surprised at how much innovation is happening in a field it also gives you engagement with other people with similar interests so you can link with people that have shown the same interest as you it gives you content ideas. And of course, you can take other people's posts and share them or tweet them or um, as in Google, share them as well. Or, and you can find relevant connections. And then, of course, you can measure the importance of topics. So um, a hashtag, just for example, and um, we've done a bit of research in this. If you put a new hashtag in that's never been used before, that hashtag has to be shared at least four times before the hashtag will actually show up as a hashtag. So if you are using a new hashtag that's never been used before, then try and get your friends to share the post around. Here's a tip for you. So remember we did the I love dogs as a hashtag? So if you were selling cute dog toys or a cute dog toy, what you do is you follow people with the hashtag I love dogs. Then you go and post on their photo and you might post, wow, what a cute dog that you have or gee, I've noticed your dog is really playful or whatever it is and start a conversation on the post or on the tweet because remember social media is about engaging. So you're not selling straight away. But as you build up trust with the person and as you build up a relationship, then you can casually mention that you have a website that sells the most amazing dog toys. You might not even say it's your website. You might just say, you know, I found this amazing website that sells these crazy dog toys. This works for any industry. So just think about your industry and think about how you can use this. Please don't go around spamming posts. 
you really do have to build the relationship. It's all about finding the audience that has a need or a want and creating or fulfilling that need or that want. So that is the power of hashtag solved. Thank you.